Hi everyone, welcome back again. Hope you all are doing great. Eid Mubarak to all. Wishing you and your family a very happy and blessed. May Allah accept our sacrifices, duas and all deeds from us and you. Eid is usually family time. So it's very hard for those of us who celebrate Eid without family. whether we are single in a new city or away from our families for whatever reason on this blessed day i personally experienced two eats we were in india for ramadan and we celebrated eat there with all my family friends and relatives but this eat i celebrated with my husband and kids in the kingdom of saudi arabia i missed my home country and joy of that celebration with my parents friends and relatives However the day of Eid we prayed in mosque and came to home before going to prayer i prepared sheer khurma i didn't take that video because we were in hurry for prayer so after we reached and had it i made dal last night and there was some left in my family they must have to have omelet along with dal i had planned to prepare dinner so i didn't prepare an extra meal that day we had brunch at 11:30 So I prepared the omelet mixture and set aside. After having brunch, my kids fell in sleep. I was not hungry, so I thought to clean the filter. I cleaned it a month before going to India. which means it has been almost 4 months look this pipe is full of moss i didn't have a thin brush to clean it so i used this straw to clean it it makes cleaning very easy just add some dishwash liquid in this pipe then simply place the straw inside and clean it see how it cleans then wash with water As usual I prepare sheer khurma in the morning 
but my kids asked me to prepare gulab jamun so i decided to prepare today's simple menu is chicken fry piece biryani with gravy and gulab jamun i brought this mtr gulab jamun packet from india it is very simple easy and tasty recipe in a bowl i took 1 and 1/2 cup flour in this add little ghee and milk as per needing for 1 and 1/2 cup flour i added 1 by 4 cup milk mix everything well and start kneading the dough I made 20 gulab jamun with this quantity. Mix everything well. Let it rest for 15 to 20 minutes. For biryani I have taken 1 kg chicken pieces with bones. I put cuts to these pieces like this. By adding salt I wash it couple of times. For sugar syrup I took 1 cup sugar in the vessel in this added 3 cups of water let it sugar melts after melting the sugar boil the syrup for 5 minutes meanwhile I am crushing 4 green cardamom it gives good aroma and taste in sweets after 5 minutes I am adding this crushed cardamom powder and half a lemon it balances the sweet now take the dough knead it once now took a portion of dough and shaped it by applying pressure in between palms then apply pressuring nicely while shaping the gulab jamun fry it in warm oil until it turns light golden color Fry them in low flame and keep stirring so that they get even color and cook evenly from the inside as well. Now dropping them in warm sugar, let it rest for 2 to 3 hours. Now I am going to marinate the chicken. In this goes half teaspoon turmeric powder, one and half teaspoon red chilli powder, one and half teaspoon coriander powder, half teaspoon black pepper powder. 1 teaspoon garam masala 1 tablespoon ginger garlic paste 2 tablespoon curd squeezing 1 lemon 1 tablespoon kasuri methi and 2 tablespoon oil mix everything well and keep it aside for 1 hour for 1 kg chicken i soaked 3 cups of basmati rice Meanwhile here I am preparing masala for masala I am taking two cinnamon sticks one black cardamom one star anise three to four green cardamom four to five cloves one teaspoon black pepper one teaspoon poppy seeds five to six cashews fry until good aroma comes here I slice three onions for making birista I chopped one big onion for chicken fry While frying onions here I am crushing the masala in modern pestle you can grind it in the grinder also Here onions also fried well then I started making chicken fry for this in a pan I am adding leftover oil in this adding chopped onion fry until translucent Meanwhile I am roasting peanuts for biryani gravy 
Once onion turns translucent, adding two tomatoes chopped. Mix and cover with lid. Cook it until oil separates from the tomatoes. Peanuts had roasted well. In this, adding two tablespoon coconut powder, one tablespoon sesame seeds, one tablespoon poppy seeds. Roasting it for ten seconds in low flame. After it cools down, make a fine paste by adding some water. Here I am boiling the eggs. Now oil is separated. At this time I am adding marinated chicken and mix well. Cook it on high flame for 2 to 3 minutes. Then turn flame medium and cook for 15 minutes. Don't forget to mix in between. For making biryani gravy, I took 3 tablespoon oil in a pan. In this adding grounded paste, mix and cook until oil separates from the masala. Make sure flame should be low and mix in between, otherwise masala sticks to the bottom. After 10 minutes, adding half crushed masala, handful of coriander leaves, 3 slitter green chilli. Mix and cook another 5 minutes. After oil separates from the masala, goes 1 by 4 teaspoon turmeric powder, salt to taste, 1 teaspoon red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon coriander powder, half teaspoon garam masala. Mix and cook for 1 minute. In chicken fry, finally add some fried onions. Mix well and cook for 1 minute then switch off the flame. In this masala, adding tamarind juice. Mix well and cook for 5 minutes in medium to low flame. Finally started making biryani rice. For this rice, I am using ghee. I have taken 2 tablespoon ghee. Once ghee gets hot, adding cinnamon, cloves, cardamom, star anise, black cardamom, shazira and bay leaves. Mix and sort it for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, adding 4 to 5 slitted green chilies, some mint and coriander leaves. Fry for 30 seconds. Then add 2 tablespoon curd and remaining crushed masala. After 2 minutes, I am adding water. For 3 cups basmati rice, I took 4.5 cup water, which means for 1 cup rice, I took 1.5 cup water. Add some salt and let it boil. Here biryani gravy is ready. Look oil is floating on masala, we need this consistency. At this point switch off the flame. It is very simple and tasty, with less ingredients we can make tasty biryani gravy. Once you try it, definitely you like it. Once water comes at boiling point, I am adding soaked rice. Mix and cook for medium flame for 6 to 7 minutes and low flame for 3 to 4 minutes. Here biryani rice is ready, garnished with birista, coriander and mint leaves. Now it's time to serving.
Thank you guys for watching till end. I hope you like this vlog and recipes as well. If you like, then please give a thumbs up and please share my video to your friends and families. We will see in my next vlog. Until then, take care. Bye. Allah Hafiz.